We're here with Yang Sheo, founder of Sheo Bank. How many customers do you have now? 750,000. That's fantastic results for a bank that was founded in 2022. With the fastest growing neobank in the world, we're growing at 2,500 a day. I think the main secret is that we have managed to do what other bankers do not even set themselves as a goal. We have managed to make our customers love us. Because nobody loves bankers. They are considered to be capitalists who want to profit from everything. But we have created an emotional interaction with our clients. How did you create this interaction? More than half of the bank's clients do not use loans. And we also make such conditions for clients that they do not pay interest for using the loan to the bank. We have the best offers on the market and a unique scoring system. The secret is that when it is easy and convenient for you to do your daily operations, you get positive emotions. You have made a revolution, such a number of clients in such a short period of time in a stale and conservative banking world is a breakthrough. Can you tell me what the secret is? It is very important when you define a strategy, how you will develop. There are three questions. What do you give to the client? How do you do it? And why are you doing it? The biggest mistake is when you think that what you know how to do is what the market needs. But that may not be the case at all. You need to understand what you do better than others. For example, what stops people investing in corporate bonds? It's complexity. You have to do a lot of things, read a lot of information. But we made a simple and convenient mechanism for buying bonds and won the love of our clients with it. Why did you succeed? We succeeded because we realized what our clients need. Our clients need simple, convenient banking for investments. And why didn't other banks understand? Because simplicity is the hardest thing to do in business. Because complicated is to make simple, but to make simple is very difficult. Are you thinking about building a bank, how to make money from it? Are you a startup? Are you operationally efficient? Did you use your own funds or did you take money from the market? Profit can never be the reason for your actions. It is always a consequence of doing something right. The goal should be sales, in a facies, but not profit. That's why we don't think about profit. And as a consequence, we have already become operationally efficient. And we did not take money from the market. We are just developing. We are not ready to issue shares yet. Now, all world analysts say that the crisis is inevitable. 3.2 times more loans are issued than the world earns. Are you ready for the crisis? We are ready for the crisis because Sheo Bank is created to work in any economic conditions. How did you make your first million? I was working in Global Future Enterprise Group and my annual contract gradually increased. In 2006, at the end of the year, I was invited and told that I had done a good job and here are the bonuses and then a million appeared in my account. What kind of car do you have? Well, I have a Mercedes Maybach here and in London I have a Tesla Model X. My wife has a Porsche. When did you start Sheo Bank? We started in the fall. We celebrate our birthday on September 28. This fall, we will be celebrating two years. How is your personal space organized? Sports, travel, how much do you spend per month? I run every day in the morning. Then I go to the office. We have project meetings throughout the day. We are always in different places. It can be in Hong Kong or in England. Usually business meetings until 6 in the evening. How are your mornings organized? Do you keep a diary or do you take notes electronically? I keep a regular calendar on my smartphone. I have an assistant, Linda Lee. She adds meetings to the calendar and all colleagues get an invitation. All colleagues have a calendar. It's a very handy tool for a businessman. Travel. What places inspire you? 
We fly to Europe very often. I like Switzerland and Italy. I'm in England very often. I've been to the USA a few times. If you were to start your journey anew, would you go into banking? Of course. I find it very exciting. I like making money, dealing with finance. And when I graduated from the institute, I started my career in finance. How is the management message dispersed within your bank? If you want to communicate something to employees, is it a messaging system? We have a very simple structure. We try to keep the format of a startup. We were initially a non classical startup because in a classical startup there is a very high percentage of uncertainty, very high risks, and a mandatory need for investment. In my opinion, these are the criteria of a startup. We clearly understood what to do. We knew how to do it. We had an understanding of the market. When we started, we made a business plan. It was quite adventurous, with aggressive growth. We surpassed it three times. Do you have to set big ambitious goals? We could not even imagine that we could achieve such success. We understand how to grow, but we had a model of a classical bank. We would not even be called a bank if we did not need to attract deposits. We made it very convenient for the client to interact with the services. And we are called a bank so that clients understand that we have a guarantee fund. If you place a deposit or buy bonds, it will be returned even if something happens to the bank. We pay contributions every quarter, thus guaranteeing clients the safety of funds. What advice would you give to a 20-year-old? Better organize your day and read more. What book changed your life? The book Tough Management by Dan Kennedy changed my life a lot. Keycoin, Token and P2P, what was this product created for? Keycoin is an extension of our idea to be completely independent from external factors. As I said earlier, we are ready for any crisis. And our own token that is tied to the assets of the ecosystem is another step towards complete autonomy. What do you mean tied to assets? What does that mean? As we know, the rate of most cryptocurrencies is speculative, while the rate of Keycoin depends on the assets managed by financial partners, which makes it a unique product on the market. Does the opening of a P2P platform and the new series of lower yield bonds mean that you are no longer planning to issue corporate bonds? No, it is not related at all. P2P trading is very popular, and it's another full-fledged product on which the bank's clients earn money. As far as bond issuance is concerned, it's not us. It's the companies that regulate the yields. We get a request for financing, and then it's in the hand of our chief bond expert, Rong Tang. So when we have request for financing, then we will issue bonds. How do you see the future? Five, ten years from now, we have statistics showing that in four to five years, we will reach over 100 million customers. And this is just the beginning. We will continue our growth as we have almost no competitors at the moment. We are setting new standards in the world of neobanking. And I'm sure that the future is with us. Thank you for your conversation. Your plans and innovations are impressive. We wish Sheobank success and further development. Thank you for your interest in our activities. We will continue to work on innovations and improving services for our customers.